hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel if you come across error code 29 it's likely indicate a problem between valorant and windows firewall this can become more complex if you have antivirus software running alongside your device built in security measures fortunately there are few important steps you can follow to resolve error code 29 to begin, it is crucial to ensure that Windows Firewall recognizes and permit Valorant. Follow this instruction to achieve that. Open the Windows search bar and type Windows Defender Firewall. Open it from the search result. Choose this option, Allow Program through Window Firewall. Click on Change Settings. Remove any existing entries for Valorant, Android Client and Vanguard. The first one is called Bootstrap Packaged Game. Click on the list and click on B on your keyboard to find it. Then select it and click on Remove. The second one is called Roid Client. Select it and click on Remove. And the third one is called Vanguard User Mode Service. Select it and remove it also. Then add a new one using the Allow Another App button. Browse to the location where you have installed Roid Games. Mine is in C Drive. In that you will find Roid Games. In Roid Games folder go to Valorant. Open the Live folder. Now select this file name Valorant. Now click on it and then click on the Add button to add the new firewall exception. Select all the checkboxes for the Bootstrap Package Game in the firewall exception list. Now repeat the same step to add another exception. This time we will add Roid Client. Now we will go to the same location in our C drive in Roid Games. But this time we will select Roid Client folder and in that select this Roid Client Services file. Now once again and the last time we will repeat the same process to add the Vanguard User Mode file. It's located in our C drive in program files. Find Droid Vanguard. Open this folder and in that select VGC file. Make sure its type is application. Check all the boxes for these three files and then click on OK. Additionally, there are a couple of other helpful actions you can take. Make sure to run the game as an administrator and ensure that your antivirus program does not interfere with this game. You can update your antivirus settings by adding Valorant application to its list of exception. I have already made a video on that where I have added Valorant application to the list of exception for virus and threat protection. You can watch that video and do the same for whatever antivirus you are using if this step doesn't work for you. If this video helped you please give this video a like and if you want to support this channel hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then take care. Have a nice day.